हेलो अरे क्या एडिट करके भेजा है क्या हुआ सर खुद ही देख लो आ, हाँ सर मैं एक मिनट हूँ मैं अभी चेक करके आपको बताता हूँ सर क्या आप पेमेंट भेज सकते हो तब तक यार फिर काट दिया यार मैं कहा गड़बड़ कर रहा हूँ सब सही तो लग रहा <laughs> क्या हो गया सर वही क्लाइंट का प्रॉब्लम एडिट में सब कलर्स एंड ऑल सब बराबर लग रहा है बट जब प्रिंट हो रहा था कुछ और ही प्रिंट होकर आ रहा है भाई ये खाली तुम्हारा प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बहुत लोगों का प्रॉब्लम है क्या क्या कुछ सोल्यूशन चाहिए हाँ सर बताओ ना आ जाओ दिखाता हूँ लाइक आई सेड दैट बॉय इज नॉट एलोन There's a large chunk of photographers who are struggling, whose problem is just that they take great images on the LCD. It looks great, even probably on their computer screens. Maybe looking all right. They did a lot of corrections, but when the print comes out, well, the hell break loose, and all that he has gone through is something that many people have gone through. I've seen people. fighting with the lab to get the colors right but like i said the real culprit i've been saying it in many other videos too the real culprit is your monitor well i understand that color management through the work uh, flow the digital work flow is a little difficult you need a little bit of understanding you need to have discipline and all right but these days brands have become even more uh, smart and they have started giving out devices using which by just following some simple steps you will be able to retain your colors through the workflow like i promised to him i'm going to show you something using which you can attain great quality uh, standardized workflow so that you don't get into similar trouble now onwards so let me bring that in yes the BenQ SW272U As they say proof of the pudding is in eating let's do exactly that i'm using a usb 3 connection to connect it to my macbook air and uh, the monitor the sw272u has three connectivities it's got a display port it's got hdmi and usb c i am preferring the usb c because this is also a power delivery port it can give you 90 watts of power which means when i connect my laptop on to it my laptop start charging of course i need to switch on this monitor once i switch on my laptop start charging instantly and uh, as you can see there are no other cables connected to my laptop which means your desktop will be clutter free completely which I think is a big boon. I I really love to work on a clutter-free environment. USB-C will carry your audio, your video, your data and power. Now, it also has two USB 3 regular ports for your connectivity, a keyboard, uh, a memory device and things like that. you can connect on to that and also a card reader so you don't have to carry your card reader when you are working with the SW272U of course only the SD cards well it also has 100% of sRGB yeah capability and 99% of adobe rgb and 99% of dcip3 now to navigate through the uh, monitor menus mind you this is a completely hardware calibratable uh, monitor we'll come to that in a bit uh, you have a set of menu controls here along with a joystick and you also have this innovative uh, hotkey puck g3 now i've seen this in many other uh, benq monitors too 
it is a wireless device gets instantly connected to your uh, monitor once you switch on the monitor this is powered with two uh, AAA batteries and remotely you can actually control this monitor for example port switching now I have connected my MacBook to the monitor through a USB cable if you want to switch to HDMI well you go to the menu uh, select the input and then of course you select whichever uh, you know port that you want to switch to so there is a display port HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 well you also have an aspect ratio now this is a full aspect ratio that I am working on there are lots of other controls here you can also go up and down the menu and completely control this menu the hotkey puck g3 also has three quick access buttons here which will allow you to cycle through different color profiles that you have set there they are customizable uh, which you can uh, you know set in the uh, hardware menu which is in there the first one currently is set to adobe rgb let me just increase the size of the image fill the screen and uh, okay you will be able to see the shift in the uh, color profile and the difference that is going to bring about in the image uh, you will see now let me switch to the next one which is the srgb you will suddenly see a difference in the image and then of course the third one is now set to black and white the advantage of black and white is that uh, first thing of course when you work in black and white your image will be in black and white but if you are working in color and you want to fine tune uh, sharpness and contrast usually it is done in black and white mode so that's a big boon according to me let me go back to the adobe rgb and of course it also will display what is your working profile now this says that i am currently working on adobe rgb correct and uh, you are working with uh, 6500k at a gamma 2.2 whole uh, calibration setting will be visible here so that is again a button here now this can be uh, connected to three different monitors you switch to one two and three it will address three different monitors currently i am addressing only one of course i have only one now let's go through the most important features which makes this monitor the benq sw272u special the first one according to me is the screen itself uh, well let me switch off the monitor now my key light is here it is falling on it I can see a little bit of color reflecting but in the camera you can't see a thing whereas my this little monitor is reflecting everything behind me in front of the uh, you know the monitor it reflects everything this is almost paper like it's matte and absolutely non reflective which really is a very important point when it comes to viewing your an image or a video for that matter on the screen uh, besides that straight out of the box this screen is calibrated uh, with uh, let me switch it on again so that you can see what I am watching straight out of the box this monitor is capable of delivering 100% of sRGB 99% of uh, Adobe RGB and 99% DCI-P3 straight out of the box because it is Kalman certified with an accuracy level of uh, Delta E value of less than 1.5 now anything less than 3 is humanly impossible uh, with a naked eye to figure out this is less than 1.5 besides this it is also Pantone skin tone certified then you have the TUV certification which is basically for the blue uh, light eye protection uh, certifications this is also uh, gone through a special technology which is built by BenQ themselves in their factory called the AQ color technology so this AQ color technology will ensure that the monitor delivers great quality of course it's like I said it's already Kalman certified but accuracy even brightness in all parts of the uh, monitor which is again very important when you work 
on color critical uh, jobs and it also makes sure that the gamma values, the brightness values of all parts of the monitor is equal so that you see your gradations very gradual. I mean, it's, it's very subtle. Now, I want to stress the importance of calibration further fine-tuning it to suit your working environment. Like I said, it's straight out of the box. It is ready to give you the great performance, quality, everything, but those were measured under lab condition. In your working environment, ideally, you should fine-tune the calibration again using, of course, the most popular devices like the i1 Display Pro from X-Rite or one of those data color devices using which you can or you must, I would say, fine-tune your monitor if you are really critical. I mean, if you are not critical, you wouldn't buy a monitor like this. So, once you buy a monitor like this, make sure that you derive, you get full potential out of this monitor. So, calibrate it again. Uh, now, to calibrate it, it's very simple. You can use their own, uh, you know, devices on uh, calibrating uh, softwares, download it and use it. But BenQ has their own Palette Master Ultimate. Like the name suggests, it is the best software that you can use to calibrate and fine tune this monitor. Uh, download it from the BenQ's own website and install it. It's, it's idiot proof. Just install it. And of course, this uh, shade or the hood has an opening on top. Open it, slide the probe inside and go through the steps. If you are a beginner, start using the basic level calibration first and then go through the uh, advanced level later. So, this is infinitely uh, calibratable to suit all your working needs. And I mean, your best results are guaranteed. Now, this next feature, according to me, is the real icing on the cake. It actually takes this monitor to the next level. In fact, a series of uh, BenQ monitors, uh, from, especially from the SW series, to the next level. The utility is called Paper Color Sync. It's a utility, it's a proprietary utility by uh, BenQ, using which you can visualize this image uh, as to how it would reproduce on a paper of your choice. Well, all you have to do is, of course, download it from BenQ's own website. Now, this feature will work only on extended uh, screen mode, not on mirror mode, okay? Uh, so, all you have to do is to start your paper color sync uh, software. It's, it runs, it's a standalone, uh, you know, utility software. I'm going to pick up the basic uh, mode. I'm going to, what it asks you is, it'll ask you to select a photo. So I'm going to select a photo, which I'm going to select the same photo from the folder. So I've selected that. I said, okay. And it is going to ask you to select a printer. So in, from the drop down menu, I'm going to select the Canon Pro 300. I'm going to select a paper. There are two papers here. Now, currently only two paper profiles are uploaded here. Uh, I'm sure you can upload more profiles. I'm going to print, let's say, the Hanmule photo rag. And in the next drop down menu, it'll ask you to pick your software. It also works with Lightroom. So even before processing and finishing and clicking on that process button, you can preview your printed version. So I'm working on Photoshop. So I'm going to say configure Photoshop. So what it does is it will go through a small process. It'll take a little bit of time, recalibrate this monitor. And now is what you're seeing now is what, how it would reproduce eventually on that particular paper using that particular printer that you've selected. Now, when you know this, I can make fine corrections here itself. So, for example, I just want to play around with a little bit of saturation. So, I pick my uh, menu. I'm going to increase because I want to, you know, increase a magenta color a bit. Uh, so, I'm going to pick the hue and I'm going to shift it a little. See, I can make all my fine corrections. See that? Now, 
there is no fighting with your lab because you already have done the fine tuning here right this is amazing i mean for me like i'll pay that extra money for a software like this so i am i'm i'm actually looking at my final print right i wish i had a printer here using which i could have taken a print out and show it to you but this is what it is and the entire world uh, kind of certifies this that's amazing now let's talk about the video capabilities of this monitor now this monitor can actually pick an sdi signal which is an uncompressed 444 which is true uncompressed signal using a converter convert it and the hdmi port can actually display all that colors onto the screen you are talking about 1.07 billion colors which tells me that this is a 10 bit monitor this has a 60 hertz uh, refresh rate and uh, this also can reproduce hdr10 and hlg color gamut you can have a 444 yeah a truly uncompressed video signal it also then can comfortably reproduce your 422s which are your most of your hybrid cameras can shoot internally and it also can reproduce your mobile phone videos for at 420 so the entire gamut of uh, you know capabilities are here when it comes to video and of course 99% DCI-P3. When you have 100% sRGB, it means it's 100% Rec. 709 as well. Now, last but not the least, let's talk about the build quality. Now, we've been using it for almost a week now with this monitor. And I must say, I really like the build quality. Uh, I especially like this hood, which can be reoriented even if the uh, monitor goes to let's say a portrait mode i really like the that small opening for the uh, calibrator probe to kind of slide in the base is nice it's got a leatherish kind of a uh, you know surface which again is very nice overall a minimalistic look uh, i really really like it's got a build to last feel well all in all this to me is something that anyone would love to have in their armory because like i said that boy is not alone there are a ton of guys outside you know groping in the dark trying to figure out what, where they have gone wrong like i said it's highly likely that you've gone wrong in selecting your monitor the colors are looking very beautiful bro nice work yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Mm, I'm getting another call, sir. I'll call you back. Okay, no problem. Hello? Hey, your work is getting better and better. I'm really happy. Yeah, sir. Thank you so much. I'm sending the payment. Okay. And one more good news. I'm sending one more client for you. Okay, sir. That will be done. I'll take care of that. Okay, bye. Okay, sir. Thank you. Well, this monitor is currently available in India with uh, warranty and full service support and I'll try and add a link in the description and I hope you like this video and if you have please remember to subscribe to our channel and of course share it among your community. I see you in another video very soon.